Hello, we are at the Quality Inn in Anaheim. Anaheim in the Park, it's what it's called. This is where we're staying this time around for the Thor 10K. It is Avengers Run Disney Weekend. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a room tour because that's what I usually do. So we are in this room here. This hotel is definitely a little older um, and a little more beat up in a sense. However, I think it'll be fine. Um, you come in, there's a little latch security system. It literally goes, you look right out into the street. So if you're not comfortable with that, um, think again. Uh, we've got a AC unit here. We've got two double beds, like so. They look pretty nice, everything looks pretty nice. We've got a uh, nightstand here. It does have outlets, which I really, really do like. That's very helpful um, to have your phone and you know all of that stuff. Um, the room is pretty clean, to be real honest with you. There's nothing, there are no issues that I've noticed upon entering. Uh, when we entered our room, there is a fridge right there a microwave, a little bucket for ice, some cups and things, flat screen TV, some drawers um, for your personal belongings if you uh, tend to unpack and such. I typically don't unpack, I just pull things from my bag so I'm not a big unpacker but I know people who are. Um, there is a little desk area here that has all of my junk on it right now. Another lamp here that does have more outlets. So if you are staying in this room with a few people who need to charge a bunch of things, it's, there's a lot of um, space for that. Little tiny coffee maker. There is a mirror here, as you can see. Um, and then the bathroom is straight here. It's got your basic sink, single sink, a large mirror, toilet, basic tub, shower. Uh, the difference between this one and the Best Western is that the sink is inside the bathroom. There's no sink outside the bathroom, so you can't like wash your hands if someone's in there doing their stuff. So, um, and then there's this little corner here uh, where they have a chair, a lamp, and there is a big old mirror here with a closet area if you need to hang up anything. So there's that as well. So first time at this hotel, um, I'll try to take a video of the breakfast. They do have continental breakfast. I don't know what it's gonna be like. Um, uh, I don't know, we'll, oh, we'll probably get to it. Yeah, we'll probably get to it um, this weekend as well. But that is it so far. Uh, we are currently staying uh, two nights. It's a, uh, it's Veterans Day weekend. We're t staying Friday night, Saturday night, leaving Sunday. Um, and the price per night was 160 However, with tax and everything, I think my total is coming out to a little under $400. So just a FYI on pricing, but obviously pricing for rooms uh, varies, varies greatly dependent on the day, the season, and all of that jazz. So that's it so far. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Melody. I'm adding this little bit at the end of my review of the hotel uh, because I didn't really close out my thoughts on the Quality Inn. Um, as I'm editing this, I just realized I kind of just like left it hanging. So I just wanted to say that um, overall, uh, my experience there was pretty positive. A um, couple of things, it's um, we were right on the first ground level, you know, the first floor. I think there's a second floor um, to that hotel, but be on the ground level it gets really loud because you, the street is right there so if that if you're a light sleeper and you don't like a ton of people walking in front of your room and things of that nature um, this might not be the uh, right hotel for you or you might want to request a upstairs room um, th something like that I also forgot to film the little um, hot breakfast area which is really just right in the lobby um, they had um, self-serve waffles they had fruits they had bread they had muffins they had cereal they had oatmeal um, and think they had eggs and some sort of protein I'm trying to remember what um, uh, they had some stuff though so uh, the breakfast I was actually pretty happy with the service was pretty good um, you know just typical it wasn't like 
over beyond amazing or anything but it was pretty good um the actual room was fine um it was clean it was just a little on the older worn in side than the best western that i typically stay at which is just right next door um but i did want to give you guys a heads up on just my overall feelings of the facility it was fine um we ubered our way uh through uh this trip and ubers were super easy to get there and to uh, get back to the hotel um airport excuse me and it all of that sort of stuff so just wanted to give you guys that information as well if you guys happen to have any questions about this hotel um, let me know in the comments down below again my only my first and only time staying there um, but overall pretty positive so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys have any questions let me know and I will talk to you guys later bye